best free Shopify themes for dropshipping with examples. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys some of the best themes out there available on Shopify, which you can use for free and how you can optimize them for dropshipping. So let's get into it. Now, Choosing a theme on Shopify sometimes is a very, very troublesome task to do because when you're starting with dropshipping, you know that there are other people selling the same product. How can you make your product stand out? And the only way that you can make your product stand out is by building a theme that is optimized for dropshipping. Now, Shopify offers a few different free themes. However, only a few of these are the better options to choose for dropshipping. And I'll show you guys which ones those themes are and how they have been optimized by real live websites that I have found. So let's get into it. Now, first on my list, and this list is in no particular order, it is the Sense theme. Now, this is the default view of the Sense theme that you can get started with customization of. If you go back, you'll be able to see a detail about the theme. This has been created by Shopify. Now, the reason why I really like this particular theme for dropshipping is that it has a really good loading time. So if you just view their demo store, Shopify provides you with a demo store of all of the themes that they have. Now, if you take a look at the demo store, you will see that it has a lot of basic images incorporated right in, and it has a really, really quick loading time. So it's very pivotal that your website loads up within a second whenever a new customer is arriving on your website. They need to be able to view your product as soon as they click on an item. So you guys will see it has a really good response rate and it has a really clean appearance that is going to help in the visualization of your products. Now, this is the store that I have found that actually is using the Sense theme. So they are using the Sense theme. They have changed the color schemes and you will see that their store is very quick in terms of loading as well. So if I click on any of these sections, they load up very quickly and it's super nice and clean. Plus they have a lot of images displaying their product. So this is just one example. Now let's move on ahead into the next theme that is super amazing for dropshipping. And that is the studio theme. Now the studio theme follows a similar scheme as to the sense theme. They have a basic mega menu and with that mega menu they have a sticky header in the default themes. And it is also available for free on Shopify. It is designed by Shopify and it again has a really clean aesthetic. The loading times are really great. Although it is not image focused, it still provides you with exceptional quality in terms of loading time. So if I show you guys the theme over here, this is the store that is using the uh, Sense or the Studio theme. So if I click on the demo store, you guys can see. So this is the demo store and you will see the demo store has a really clean layout. Now, this is a bit more content focused. So if you're someone that is dropshipping products where you want to provide information, where you want to build a brand around those products, you're offering customizations or any kind of optimization within the product, then this studio theme is going to be super great for you. This is a live example of the studio theme. This is a first website and you guys will see they are providing a lot of info about their products. Obviously this is in Chinese, but they are, you know, categorizing different items providing insights into these items as well now moving on to our next store or the next theme and then we'll show you guys the store that is the craft theme now the craft theme is again a particular theme that was created by shopify now if you take a look at the craft theme it is super super minimalistic it's really clean and it has all the basic features that you would require it's very similar to the dawn theme but it's not exactly the dawn theme and this is a store that is currently using the craft theme so you guys can see the craft theme is a very simplistic very minimalistic view and it allows people to access the product very quickly and it is also a very good theme in terms of loading speeds or loading times. And it has all the basic integrated features that you would use, such as cart notes, in-store pickups, quick buys, blogs, cross-selling, high-resolution images, slideshows, and more. They also have enhanced search, mega menus, product filtering, recommended products, and sticky headers that you can build. 
Now, moving on to our next theme recommendation, we have the Dawn theme. Now, the Dawn theme is a tried and tested theme. It is a theme that is going to work well. It has high conversion. It is something that has been proven to work well. It focuses, you will see, visual storytelling. If you take a look at any of these themes, most of them are focusing or trying to focus on visual storytelling and the dawn theme really does it really well and that is why it is one of the most popular themes on shopify now with the dawn theme there are so many examples but this is just an example store that is using the dawn theme they have some of their basic categories listed on their home page they have a basic return policy they have all of their products listed and it's a pretty nice website the really major, most impactful point of using the Dawn theme is how easy to navigate it is, how easy to crawl within the website it is with the Dawn theme, plus the amount of um, call to actions that are integrated within the Dawn theme can be really helpful in making sure that your potential leads actually become converting customers. So let's move on to our second last theme, that is the taste theme. Now, this is one theme that a lot of people don't realize could be such a good theme for dropshipping. The reason for that is it provides you with a refreshing look. It actually fits in with the actual title of the theme as well, because it provides a really refreshing appearance to e-commerce stores. While it keeps a really good focus on building call to actions. So in many ways, it looks super new, it looks super fresh, but it's following the same patterns as a really highly optimized store for call to actions for purchasing for card conversion would. And I'll show you guys an example. This is the example store. It's called Better Coffee. And you will see, even though they have a lot of different, you know, information that is presented in a unique fashion, they still have multiple different call to actions, which are integrated seamlessly within the basic wireframe of the website. What this does is that this makes it easier for you to navigate through a website, find things you like, find information that you want to observe, and purchase as you go. So the taste theme is super amazing for this purpose, and it also has a pretty good load time, and it doesn't have any heavy codes. All of these themes are not heavy in terms of the code because that is what optimizes them to load quickly and build a clean interface. Now, moving on, what are the other themes and which themes should you stay away from? First off, the right theme is not something that is going to work from dropshipping. It's just not optimized for dropshipping. It's more so a landing page. If you have one product only, I would recommend the right theme and the refresh theme is pretty much the same. Now, one theme that is a bit controversial, you could say, is the spotlight theme. Now, I don't like the spotlight theme for a couple of reasons. First off is that when you're dropshipping products, there is a likelihood that those products can be found elsewhere. So when you have the spotlight theme, it just makes it a bit obvious that you could find these products elsewhere because there is only a direct product link. Although initially it seems like a good idea to just have your products listed on one page and that is it. But that can in the long run make it a bit worse and just make the appearance of your products to be not as well thought out as it would on the other themes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can pick out the theme that you would like. I have built my Shopify store over here with a lot of customization and you can follow along our videos to start building your store as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.